Well, speaking of fight, for some people, driving over bridges can be nerve-wracking, especially when that bridge starts to shake a little bit. But soon, thanks to science, you won't have to hold your breath going over bridges. And here to explain is Jeff Fox with tonight's Mr. Science Report. Jeff? Science, I love that word. Now, you guys have heard of fighting fire with fire. Tonight, we're going to talk about fighting vibration with vibration. We've all seen pictures are from Korea, where within the past week, a bridge oh, no, fell into the river it had spanned. Truth is, with every car and truck, there's a vibration. And every vibration brings a bridge closer to failing. But one Yukon professor has a better idea. The proposition is, is extremely simple. Very difficult to materialize. Hang a weight, a mass, on the bridge and use a computer to vibrate it to absorb the original motion, much like a paper towel absorbs liquid. The theories on this blackboard are about to be put into practice. Here's where the professor's ideas come into play. This is the Route 66 bridge over the Connecticut River between Portland and Middletown. Now, as cars and trucks pass over this bridge, it vibrates, and the metal bends a little bit, sort of like the metal on this coat hanger. But after a while, the metal starts to fatigue. For the coat hanger, it's not a big problem. For a bridge, it can be a disaster. But look at this demonstration. This is similar to what a bridge experiences. The metal plate is vibrating, but when a computer analyzes its movement and then creates a force to absorb it, the plate goes still. There's still motion, but it's been moved as it would be off the bridge. Now a non-critical component, a sort of mechanical fuse is taking the punishment. This one simple step could revolutionize construction. This thing we propose to be on the bridge for let's say three month period or six month period. This oscillation effect, the fatigue effect, will destroy the add-on structure and uh, every so often you come in and take this component off the bridge, throw it away, put a new one in and, and continue the operation. Because the motion in the add-on structure can be made greater than the original vibration, the laws of physics say the add-on can be made smaller, as little as one hundredth the weight of the structure it's protecting. And since the bridge no longer has to be designed to fight vibrations, the design can be simplified, meaning so that you will build lighter bridges, lighter uh, airplanes, whatever, because they will not be subject to these fluctuations so much. Now let's take this one step farther than bridges. Let's go to a helicopter. They really have to reinforce a helicopter so it doesn't shake apart. But imagine if the shaking was no problem, they could carry more payload, make a helicopter much lighter, much cheaper. Science is neat. <laughs> Thank Sorry, you very especially much. Especially the way you present it, Jeff. <laughs>